So when it comes to mining, many questions get asked over and over again. This is, how much isk can I make mining? Is mining in high sec even viable? And which ship should I use? Hello all you awesome people out there, I am Disowned here and welcome back to another super awesome and mega wicked cool video done by myself and today I'm going to do my best to answer those questions. So like I said, these are the kind of questions that pop up over and over again and I'm going to do my best to try and answer them for you guys. As you can see, I'm sitting here with a nice little retriever, or big retriever, should I say. We also have a procure and a cover test. That's all of the ore mining barges covered. We also have a little venture, because hey, who doesn't love a venture? So I'm going to be taking these ships into a whole load of different scenarios. I'm going to start off in high secured space, a 0.5 system. I'm going to mine the same ore in each ship for an hour to find out how much ore these ships get. And in turn, find out how much isk per hour we can make mining. So I'm going to find a 0.5 system, find some ore to mine, and I'll be back with you guys real soon. And here we are in a nice little asteroid belt in an 0.5 security system and I'm that excited I've started mining already. I'm still in my retriever and I've done some quick calculations online and it looks like massive scordite is going to be the ore for us because it offers the most isk per cubic meter. There is some higher valued or better valued ores here but per cubic meter which is the most important thing. So massive scordite is going to be the one. And if we have a quick look at the fitting for the retriever, I've tried to keep the fittings close to what the ship bonuses are. So if the ship's bonus towards having a huge tank, that's kind of what I've put on it. And each ship's fitted for kind of slight PvP, if that makes sense. So if you notice, if we look in the drones here, I haven't actually put any mining drones on this one. I've got two ECM drones and two hobs. Hobs mainly for the rats, ECM for if we need to run away if we get attacked. Uh, that's mainly because I didn't really want to be running backwards and forwards, changing the fit, and they're just all fit. So they're going to keep the same fitting all the way through the video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I've got a little timer down here. This is set for one hour. It's actually 56 minutes left now. So I'm going to leave this ship to mine. Well, for the whole hour, running backwards and forwards to the closest station, dropping you off and coming back. After the hour, I'll come back to you guys and see exactly how much we've managed to mine. Don't worry about that. That's just a few rats I killed as soon as I got here. Not going to take any bounties or anything into consideration. I haven't even looted. And you haven't even looted the wrecks. Not bothered by that. I'm here for the ore and the ore only. So, yeah, I'll see you guys real soon. Alright, so there we go. That is our hour up in the retriever. And to be honest, I've only just managed to fill one ore hold in an hour and one cycle of the two strip miners to get. Another 8,000 massive score It's perfect timing actually because if we go on the mining tab, I've actually just run out of uh, massive score rights. So that was actually ideal. So I would say if you're going to do this AFK, like just, I don't know, maybe browse the internet or go and have your dinner or something, the Retriever is definitely the way to go because it has the biggest ore hold out of all the ships. And I'm pretty sure I have the cargo optimization on here. Oh no, sorry, I went for the transfers bulkheads to give me extra extra structure hit points there but you could quite easily just take off these two low slots here put uh, two more mining lasers on um probably leave everything else the same and you could quite easily just leave this to run for like an hour so let's actually have a look at how much or we managed to get if you know it's to dock i've noticed this ship is very slow in fact when i was coming here it did actually stop between gates. It didn't actually have enough cap to go from one gate to another. So anything over about 80 AU, it would, uh, it wouldn't reach the destination. I had to stop and recharge the cap uh, to keep going. Right, so here we go. Let's put the last, the last of our ore in the item hanger here. And we managed to get, uh, go okay, wait, 169,000 with an estimated value of 3 million. So we'll come back to that. Let's just add a little note to remember how much that was there. Save that one. Think. And now what I'll do is I'll go get the next ship and we'll do the exact same again. So probably go with... Well, I'm not sure yet. I'll see what it feels like when I get back to the ship. So yeah, I'll see you soon when I'm in another asteroid belt. to be in the same system. Probably a different asteroid belt though. And we'll do the exact same again and see how much is that ship gets or how much ore that ship gets and here we are back again same system different asteroid belt because the other one had run out of massive score right? and this time i am in my coveter you have to let me know if i'm saying that right by the way just give me a as usual comment down below let me know if i'm pronouncing that wrong so i'm gonna get straight 
back into the mining. This ship is a little bit different to the other one. Uh, the bonuses are more towards mining yield rather than cargo like the other one. So we have a quick look at the info on this. You'll see 5% bonus to strip miner and ice harvesting and 2% reduction in strip miner and ice harvesting duration and 25% in activation cost. So let's have a quick look at the fitting before we start the timer. Got two strip miners, same as before, except this time we have three mining laser upgrades in the bottoms, shield extender in the mid, and a few bits and pieces over on the side here. We also have, which is going to be important, we have five mining drones. That's going to be extra ore coming in. Only problem is we only have, doesn't show it down here. If I open up my inventory, we only have 7,000 cubic meters of storage, whereas the retriever had... 24,000, 21,000, up to the 20s anyway, so we're going to be doing more trips in this ship, but hopefully we'll be filling the cargo a lot faster, so whether that means it's going to be more ore in the hour or less, I'm not sure. Let me just quickly lock this up first. Do we have a secondary close to us? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like we have any more here, so we're going to have to go to a different asteroid belt once this asteroid's gone but it'll do for now i'm gonna start the timer for one hour there we go bink bink send them out go mine there we go i'm gonna go oh, not closer to the drone close to the asteroid so it's less distance for the drones to travel to bring the ore back to me which hopefully will increase how much all we get in the hour so yeah it's going to be another hour now doing this this is all me focusing on just looking at asteroids none of this is afk i'm not going downstairs i'm not doing anything else i'm literally sitting here and i'm clicking as fast as i can try and get as much or as possible and i should also point out that i'm not a professional miner so my skills aren't to 100 percent this isn't maxed out skills or anything so if you had better skills you might get a bit more if you had worse skills obviously you'll get a little bit less so yeah we'll leave it at that and I'll see you guys in another hour. Should be fun. <laughs> and that is another hour's mining done. I've managed to get, I think, more ore. This is the fourth run. The hour is up, but I'm just going to let these strip miners finish this last. This last run, I'm sure a few minutes here and there won't matter. Plus, for some reason, I don't know how the asteroids work, but I seem to be depleting them a lot quicker. Uh, in this ship, it could be down to the fact that I'm using drones. I mean the other ship went for an hour mining three asteroids I think it was three maybe four asteroids like depleted so far. I've gone through about seven. I've had to go to three different asteroid belts It could be I don't know how the asteroids work. It could be maybe a mining more material So obviously they're running out faster. Or it could be because there's more mining lasers on the asteroid Uh I don't know, maybe it goes off how many cycles of miners go. I, I don't know. Basically, I think I wasted a little bit more time moving from asteroid to asteroid here, but I think, in general, I should have at least the same, if not more, ore than I did get in the Retriever. Although it's been a lot... Uh, I don't quite know what the word is. It's been a lot more concentration on my part, because this ore hold here fills up very quickly. Got to micromanage your drones whenever rats come in. You can see there's a few have come in here. And yeah, running back to forwards to station doesn't help either. So if you're going to do AFK mining, this is definitely not the ship for you. Although I don't know if I said it before, the ship is kind of more geared towards mining in groups. And there is actually, is there a group still here? Yeah, there is. If I just bring me directional scanner, you can see we've got an orca here and two machinors as well. So there is a little group in high sec. Although if you were part of like a mining corp, I don't know why it'd be in high sec instead of like null or low. Uh, let's turn these off now. That'll do them. Power is up. But yeah, if you had a, a, a ship running um, back to forwards, you know, taking your auto station for you, and if you had, which station were we in, that one? Uh, if you had like a support crew as well, because I've shown you the fit before, if you look, the tank is like really, really minimal on this. I mean, the rats were nowhere near killing me, obviously, but I did see them taking more... More hit points off my shields than they did when I was in the retriever. So let's just go back to two stations and see how much we actually managed to mine. Yeah, I think out of all the ships, this would probably be my least favourite for solo. 
so uh, especially in high sec because you don't really want to be focusing 100 percent on mining i mean can do i have done for like the last hour or two now but ideally you want to have like another window open watching youtube uh, i don't know checking the news if you need to go i don't know get something to eat you can do because you can just leave it mining away this you really can't you've got like a few minutes in between having to or it feels like a few minutes anyway uh, between having to come back to stations so just drop that in there i've also dragged some of the ore from my ore hold something you can do you drag it from your ore hold and actually put it in your ship hold it only holds like just over 2000 but that gave me enough room to get an extra load full load of ore from my mining drone so it meant i could be out a little bit longer Uh, before I had to come back to base, so put them in home hold, and I managed to get stuck all them. One hundred and ninety-two thousand. So if we compare that, what did I get from the other one again? I'm in a different station now as well. So we got the one hundred ninety-two here, and we only got oh one hundred ninety-two. Oh wait, no wrong. <laughs> I was going to say that's identical. No, it's the wrong. Well, we got 169. So I did actually manage to get a little bit more in the cover tier than I did from the retriever. Not surprising really when you look at the amount of extra lasers I had when it comes to the drones and the bonuses as well. But like I say, the retriever, I could quite happily just leave that there uh, and go downstairs for an hour and come back. Especially if you're in a 0 0.8 system or above. I'm pretty sure 0 0.8 systems don't have rats. 0 0.9 systems and 1.0 high score systems. Don't have any rats you quite happily happily just leave your ship there all day if you wanted so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to leave here in my little pod and go and grab the next ship so we'll be back real soon and the last but not least we have the procurer the last of the mining barges now already this is shaping up to be my favourite mining ship, I think, because if you have a look at the ship bonuses, it's actually geared more towards solo play. We've got a lot uh, better tank thanks to this five percent bonus to shield hit points, and we also have extra damage when it comes to the when it comes to the drones as well. So my five hobs I've got at the moment will be doing a damage of about seven and a half hobs. So it's going to easily be able to defend itself. Uh, it's got a decent tank, so the rats aren't really going to be too much of a problem. And we still have the two percent strip miner. Uh, bonus as well. So have a quick look at the fitting of this ship. We have the same two modulated strip miners in the highs. We have four mids here and I've put adaptive uh, invulnerability fields on here except for this one's limited. If my skills are better I'd probably get uh, three of these rather than two. And a medium shield extender. Bottoms we have the two mining laser upgrades and more shield things over here. No mining drones on this ship however because the bonuses are more towards uh, dealing damage and being able to defend yourself. So that's what I've gone with. I've gone for the five hobgoblins here and the hornets as well. So if things do come to blows, hopefully I can use the hornets to to escape. So I've got the timer in the bottom down here ready to go. And you might have noticed the time's a little bit different as well. Uh, basically when I brought this procurer back into the system and I was looking for massive score dates, I couldn't find any. In fact, I did actually manage to find about three, four asteroids, but they were spread out across about three or four different asteroid belts. I didn't really think it was fair that the first two ships kind of got, you know, plentiful asteroids to mine. Didn't have to worry too much about bouncing around to try and find ores. Um, so rather than these ships wasting time like these, this procurer and the venture having to run around and try and find things, I thought, Do you know what, just wait another day. Wait for all the ores to come back uh, and try and keep things as even as I can. So yeah, I'm going to start mining now. actually have, where are they? Two, three... There we are, three asteroids easily in range, going to hit the go button down here. There we are, so we'll be back in another hour, guys. Uh, there we go. So another hour, let's see how much this ship can mine. I'm presuming it's going to come roughly in the middle uh, of the other two ships. It's not going to have the the same kind of staying power as the Retriever, because it's only got a 12,000 cubic meter hold. But it's greater than the Coveter and the bonuses, especially with the two... Um, two, I forgot the name of them already the two mining laser upgrades that's them with these two down here hopefully it should come roughly in the middle of the three I think so yeah we'll be back in an hour and that is it that's the hour done just in time for the asteroid to deplete so now let's go back to 
uh, here and see how much you managed to mine. Where's the button? There it is. Uh, see how much you managed to mine in the Procurer. This ship was a lot friendlier to use. I managed to have all modules running. Uh, strip miners and these here. Um, with absolutely no cap issues whatsoever. I mean, even just coming here, the other two ships. When it came to the 83 AU jump, I think it was. Both of them had to stop halfway to refresh the cap. Before they could actually jump the whole distance. This one, no problem. Just to straight through. So the cap is a lot better on this. And one thing I do like is cap stable ships. Docking permission requested. Let's get in here. I've managed to get about three full infantry's worth of, or three full cargo holds worth of ore. Let's see what that equals to. Um, ore hold here, put it there. And get that one there. So I managed to get. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Just hover over it. We might another place. Two hundred and one thousand. I think that's actually the most I've got so far. Quick, quick look. Yes, this ship has actually mined more than all of them. To be honest, I think. I mean, I didn't have to waste as much time running backwards and forwards as the coveter, and it was uh, a more bonus towards mining than the retriever. So so far. So yeah, the Procurer is definitely my favourite ship at the moment. But there is one more ship left. We do have the Venture. We can't leave the Venture out. Because I don't think I mentioned... Double check before I actually say this. Yeah, I don't think I mentioned earlier. But you have to be uh, Omega to go past the Venture. So the only ship you can use if you are an Alpha clone is the Venture. So it only seems fair to actually include the Venture here in our little, uh, in our little test, in our little comparison. So I'll be right back. And then we'll get another hour's worth of mining done. Uh, and then we'll compare everything. And I think that'll be pretty much it for this video. I'll do another one for the other different security systems. Uh, but I think to actually sit down and watch me mine for like 10 hours straight. It's probably going to be a bit too much for one video. So be right back anyway. Let's get the, the venture over here. And let's start mining again. All right, so last but not least, we have the trusty venture, which is going to be the only option if you are an alpha account. Unfortunately, you can't trade into any other mining ships. Uh, if you don't know the bonuses of this one, the wrong button. I don't know the bonuses of this one. Let's just get them up now. Uh, we have 5% to mining yield and reduction in gas cloud harvesting. 100% bonus to mining and a 2% warp core strength. Now, this is kind of important because it can only actually fit two flights of drone so I've got two hobs in this have a quick look at the fitting two hobs in this and you're going to need at least two hobs you can't supplement them for anything else because when it comes to the rats it's going to be quite hard to kill them with just one hob and the tank is quite well quite tiny we've got two mining lasers at the top one mining laser upgrade here a few shields and stuff and the difference here being I actually have an afterburner on this the other ships don't have afterburners so they're quite slow when the slow boat into the so the different ores, so hopefully it'll make up some time there, uh, help it get more ore a little bit quicker. And normal shield kind of stuff in the rigs. Uh, not really much to say about this ship, it's got the smallest of the ore holds, of only 5,000 cubic meters. Got a few asteroids here, I'm pretty sure I should only actually, at the most I think, expend maybe one or two of these, because I'm not expecting this ship in the hour. Let's get me clock up. In the hour to actually mine all that much compared to the mining barges. But hey, I'd say it's the only option for the alphas. Let's get that going. If you are an alpha account, this is what you're stuck with. And to be honest, it's not that bad when you look at it. I mean, it only costs 8 million esque. The other ships cost about 30 to 40 million. And the extra time needed to train into the other ships as well. So even if you're not an alpha, if you're Omega and you just think, Do you know what, I'll give it a go. This is going to be the ship for you. So yeah, we'll give this one an hour, exactly the same conditions as the other three ships, uh, and we'll see how it compares. And just in time for the pirates to turn up, that is the hour over for the venture, so let's get back to, I think it was this station okay. for the venture. And I can tell you right now it's mined less than the mining barges, I wouldn't say a lot less though. I still think it's got over 100,000. 
uh, pieces of ore, so it's not hugely underwhelming compared to the others. Obviously, it is less if you were mining for like, say, 10 hours straight, you'd be down by quite a bit over a mining barge, but not really anything to moan out for, especially considering the price and the training that goes into actually getting a mining barge. Uh, so another 26,000 in there. We'll add that to the 100k. So... It was about two or three runs to get it up to 1.7. It was bringing 33,333 um, bits of massive score day back pair trip. But yeah, it's only about two runs behind and it's taking about 15 minutes per run. So let's add that into the notes anyway. But I say it's not too bad. I mean, yeah, it's a lot less than all these ships, but again, the price of that. And the fact that it's only available to alphas, obviously alphas will have to stick to this. It's not hugely underwhelming. I was expecting it to be like at least half, but not too bad. Right, so what I'm going to do now, quickly moving on, uh, is jump into the retriever. And I'm going to go get a price for this ore. Do I have put anything in there? No. So I'm going to take that much with me. I'm going to go to Jita, which is where I priced everything up when I was first looking at the prices for everything. And I'm just going to sell one load and then work out how much one piece of massive score that's worth. And then from that, we'll calculate how much each ship has managed to earn in the hour it's been mining. So have a look here. Let's just go to Jita. And it's going to take a while for this retriever to get there because like I say the cap's ridiculous in most systems so it couldn't actually jump from gate to gate without stopping halfway so I'll see you when we get to Jita. Okay so here we are in Jita, probably going to be the easiest place to sell this or let's have a look how much it's currently going for. 19.06 and buy orders are 19.22 hmm well that's handy why don't I just take it here hmm all oh, right so we're actually inside someone's private citadel here because they're actually offering the best price for the ore we're after which is this one we're offering 19.22 which isn't absolutely sky high in fact i'm pretty sure let me just double check okay no that's right i'll just double check and it seemed a bit low uh to me but that's the price uh i googled it at yesterday so it's not really changed much let's go to our ore hold and uh, we'll move that to here new mark details which we can already see just double check and sell we're gonna get 2.3 million for that one full load. That's 126.293. All right, so now we know we could sell that all for 19.22 isk. There we go, per unit. We can actually do some quick maths now to figure out exactly how much we earned in each ship. So let's bring our calculator up here. So if we do the retriever first, that managed to mine 106.9545. That was in one hour. So if we times that by the, how much did I say it was? 19.22. That gives us uh, 3.2586. Ninety and I will put the commas in here, making it a lot easier to read. There you go. So three mil, just over three million an hour in the retriever. Three point seven mil in the coverter, coverter. However you say that one. Three point eight mil in the procurer, and two point four mil in the venture. So the venture is about a million. It's an hour behind the rest of them, so it's not hugely disadvantaged. But obviously, it's not the best you can do. So. No, so if we say roughly you would earn about 3.7 mm, yeah about 3.7 mil an hour 
mining and high second mining barge. And if you're an alpha, unfortunately, you're locked to 2.4. Now, this is using my skills, which aren't perfect. And obviously, you can change the, the fitting. Just go through the ships quickly. I'd definitely say the retriever is best for offline, kind of. So, set it running. Go away for an hour. Come back. Uh, AFK kind of mining. The coverter. Didn't really see the point in that unless you're in, like, a mining fleet. The procurer, definitely my favourite. That's going to be the one. Best for solo work and the adventure obviously you're stuck to as an alpha or if you have low skills or not enough money to put into a mining barge. Now I would say the retriever actually might be best if you were, or not best, but could work if maybe you were going into wormholes or into low sec and maybe you were doing a jump or two back to a system to actually drop the ore off. Uh, if you're doing long distances backwards and forwards then maybe the retriever's got the bigger, bigger ore. But my favourite, i say, is the Procure. So I'm going to leave it at that. I might bring another video out. In fact, I will bring another video out. Probably just using the Procure and the Venture since they're my two favourite ships at the moment. And we'll see how much we can earn in low, null, wormhole space. And we might run some anomalies as well to see how much we can get there. So until then, stay awesome. And I'll see you right here very soon in another video. Bye-bye. T3 cruiser here in front of me and I believe there is an agency festive kind of